right, so your Bosch dishwasher is not draining properly. I'm gonna show you how to alleviate this problem, all right? And so you probably wanna stick along on the remaining of the video after I've solved your problem because there are other issues that can prevent the dishwasher from draining that you will arise in the future, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this Bosch dishwasher. You see how it's not draining properly, all right? Now, there could be a couple of reasons why it's not draining properly. We're gonna start off with the easiest reason. For some reason, it just did not drain. So what you can do is you can come up here, close your dishwasher, all right, close it uh, just enough, and then come up to the control panel, turn it on, all right, so once you turn it on, if the number's gonna come up, it's gonna have a whole bunch of selections. So you want to drain this. Now, the simple solution, if this is just an easy fix, all you're gonna to wanna to do is come over here and hold this button. You see the start button, resume button. You're gonna hold it for a couple of seconds and see what happens right here? It's gonna to click to one. And so when it does that, you're gonna close it. And then it's supposed to drain, all right? It should drain into the sink and you should it should be all good. Now, if this doesn't solve your problem, we have to go a little bit deeper into the issue to see what we can do, all right? So it's draining right here, a little bit. So it's not draining all the way, so there's a deeper issue. So let's go ahead and try to fix the deeper issue. So it drained some, all right? So we're, all right, so, all right, you see it's not draining. I try to drain it using the normal controls for draining the dishwasher if it didn't drain. Nothing happened. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna remove the filter in here. So you see this filter? It's lined up like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist it and I'm gonna pull this out. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clean this filter and I'm gonna show you how I clean it, all right? Also, before I clean that, if you see any huge chunks or anything like debris, you'll probably want to get like a screener or something like that to try to scoop all of this stuff out that could be possibly uh, clogging it up. And I'm just gonna grab a screen right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and get up all of this stuff as much as I possibly can. If there's huge chunks in there, you want to remove the huge chunks, put on some gloves if it's too nasty, just get down there and remove that and make sure that's all clean. All right, so that's good. So let's go to cleaning this filter, all right? All right, so we have the filter off and now we have to clean it. So the first thing you wanna do is you want, if there's anything on this grate right here, like clogged up, you wanna clean it, most of the time, you could just simply rinse it off just like this and it will be fine, all right? But however, it could be clogged up and you'll probably have to go ahead and take this off. And so what you do to take this off is you just simply go ahead and pull on this filter right here. It comes off just like that. And you see there's a lot of grime and stuff in here. We're gonna clean all of this. And so once I take that off, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this part of the filter and there's notches right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press on these and this is removed. Now, once this is removed, I just simply take some water and I can remove majority of the gunk that has built up in here, all right? You can do it by just going on here and doing this. And I'll do this periodically because gunk builds up on it and you want this to remain clean. Now, see how gunky that is inside of there? Look, look at all the gunk inside of there that's built up. You wanna clean all of this stuff off and if water doesn't get it, sometimes I use an old toothbrush and I just simply go in here and just go back and forth along the filter to remove all of that gunk like this. All right, so remove the gunk off of that and this. Now, if it's oily, sometimes you can uh, assist with this process by adding some Dawn dish detergent or some dish detergent, what I do, is just go ahead and put a little bit on the toothbrush. Just get some down on the toothbrush, down to the last drop. I put a little bit on the toothbrush, and then I just simply go over it like this to remove any of the oil deposits that are on here. Now, now this is oily gunk. There, depending on where you live, you could have some calcium buildup on this. Now, what I suggest, or what I do, rather than suggest, is sometimes if you have calcium buildup in this filter, the water can't go through and get filtered. So what I end up doing, if it's really gunky, I either dip this in uh, uh, um, vinegar, all right? So right here I have uh, white vinegar, 
and I just go ahead and put it, I actually do full strength, I fill up the thing with full strength, and I let this sit in the vinegar sometimes overnight if it's a lot of calcium buildup over this, and then flip it and do that side too overnight, or maybe a few hours to just to get the calcium to dissolve. Now, if your filter's too damaged, you may need to order a new one. And I'll leave a link down in the description part of the page of where you can order a new filter right here if this is damaged too much. But majority of the time, soaking it in vinegar will do the job for a few hours, if not overnight, with dissolving the calcium deposits. And so once I've done that, I'm just gonna take the filter and then rinse it off, and it should rinse off any of the debris that was on there. All right, so now that I've scrubbed everything with the brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in. All right, so put it back in. Now, this should solve a lot of the problems, but I'm gonna show you another reason why your, your uh, dishwasher can still not be draining properly. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into place. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into place. So I'm putting the filter back into place right here, back into place, and remember to twist it and lock it in, and you see how it lines up like that? Do you see how it lines up like that? That means that it is back in place as long as it is flush against the bottom. And we still have a pool right here. Now what you can do is you can do the drain feature that I just showed you, or we can go to another issue that may be part of this problem that we're right here. And I'm gonna show you how to alleviate this. Now this next issue that I'm gonna show you should resolve it. So let's get started with that. Now, right. if the dishwasher still would not drain, there may be an issue with something clogged inside of the sink, okay? Inside of the drain right here. Right here, I have a disposal right here. And so what happens is the water goes in here and sometimes if there's food in here, it can get clogged. Sometimes all you have to do is turn on the disposal with some water and it gets rid of it, but not always. Sometimes you get a lot of oil or a lot of food stuck in there, so you have to use a different method. And so what I do is I do the drain method. And so what I do is clean the drain method with hot, really hot water. Now what I do is I fill this with hot water, so I'm gonna fill this entire uh, uh, pot with hot water and I'm going to boil it, all right? So when I fill this up right here, I'm gonna put this to the side right here while it boils, while uh, it fills up. I am gonna put the boiling water, but to assist with the boiling water, I'm going to put some detergent in the drain. Now this detergent right here, it, it, it dissolves uh, oil deposits right here. So this is Dawn Ultra. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this. You can use some other dish detergent if you want. Um, uh, dishwasher uh, detergent. So what I do is I just put a little bit down in the drain, a little bit right here, and you'll see what I'm doing. So once I have this just sitting down in the drain, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pot that I've been filling with water, and I'm going to boil this water, and I'm going to pour it down the drain. And you'll see what I'm gonna do when I do that. All right, so let me get started with that. All right. All right, so now that the water is boiling, I'm going to move it over to pour it down in the drain. Let's get All started. Right. So now I have the boiling hot water sitting right here. Now it's time to pour it down in the drain to get rid of any clogs that are in here. If you want to, for the giggles, you can go ahead and put a little bit of more detergent down in there, may, may assist with that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on, if you have disposal, turn on the disposal. Get that running, get that running, and now I'm gonna pour the boiling hot water down in here, so watch this. All right, so it's going down in here. And so what this is doing is it is dissolving any, let it go, and, and then turn it off. What it what just happened is it's dissolved any of the oil deposits in there, as well as because I added so much water, if any food is caught up in the drain in there, it probably released it. So now I did that, you can go ahead and just rinse out your sink, rinse out your sink a little bit. All right, dissolved all that. And if you still feel like unassured, what you can do is fill up the water, fill up the sink with water, completely full with water, or warm water, doesn't necessarily have to be completely hot. It has to be uh, just warm enough. And then once it fills all the way up, do this process, turn on the disposal, and then drain it. Now you wanna do this with a full sink, and that should remove any any gunk that's in there. So now that you've done that, 
you can come on over here and you see that it's a puddle in there and you can go ahead and try the steps again to drain it, turn it on and then go right here, press the start button, hold it down, hold it down. All right, hold it down until this one comes up and then close it. And in a few seconds, I'm gonna come over here, in a few seconds, it should start to drain. Now let's see. I'm gonna stay with you until it drains, all right? So it should drain any second now. You hear that? It's starting to drain a little bit. So that's the initial drain. And then in about a couple of seconds, you will actually hear the complete drain happening. You hear that? You hear that? I think that was a complete drain. An indicator that is on is the red dot right down there. Let's see if it drains one more time. You hear that? That's the water draining. Let's see if it drained, all right? After it finishes stopping, okay? Hear that? It's draining all of the water right here. Let's check and see. All right, so it should be done, even though there's a red dot right there, it should be done, and I'm gonna check on it right now. You see that? It's all drained right there. And if any crud is in there, go ahead and clean that out, and you should be good to go. All right, and so that's how you drain a Bosch dishwasher that is not draining properly. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe if you want to, and please give a like. Thanks a lot.